Family Adventure Cook Set. I've done a review on this. This comes with a bunch of stuff in the middle. I don't use it. I keep my uh, Silver Fire Scout in this one. This is the bottom piece. And then basically you have your inner part of the Silver Fire. That's the top that goes on top. But if you can tell inside there, there's a double wall. We got those little flames that come out the inside. But basically what happens is the wood starts burning down in the bottom. It will suck that air up in through here. As you can see there, it sucks air up to the inner wall. And as that wood releases its gas, it starts burning it out. And that gas gets released up through that wall and starts coming right out there as flames. And we'll, we'll get a little close-up video on there when I get it going. What's the benefits of that? Well, your wood's gonna burn down to basically nothing. Um, and what's the, probably the biggest benefit of this particular stove is the controlled flame that you can do with it. Um, you can burn a lot of stuff in it. This is not really suited or set up to put an alcohol stove in there, although I have. Um, put my little monster kit in there. But what's nice about this is you can put, you can stuff this thing full of your your fuel. It's made to light these corners. But I like to just take the contents out, especially in the silver fire, dump them out right in there. Okay, that guy asked me, then I was having a conversation. He's like, you always go down to river bottoms. Why do you always bring your stoves with you and I'm like well to be honest with you sometimes you can make a smaller fire but uh, you know especially this time of the year we had some extreme fire hazards warnings out earlier right here I got this completely in control and putting it out is nearly next to nothing I mean when I get a normal fire going I gotta dig it bury it put a four gallons of water on it to make sure everything is fine. So this is typically why I like to use my stove. Your direct heat onto your pan. When you're just sticking something in a fire or putting it on top of a grill. I am a cast iron pan. I, use, I love cast iron. Um, that conducts heat really, really well, but you want to have all the heat focused inside that ring. So that's kind of one philosophy behind my use of uh, pans, stoves. Don't have a lot of uh, experience with a lot of the folding style uh, stoves such as firebox or bush box. I purchased this one about a year ago and I've used it pretty extensively and I really like it. It burns the fuel pretty quickly but it actually that's when it's the best. It's when it gets a lot of this fuel burned down. You got your coals down there then it has that secondary burn we're going to go ahead and get these potatoes and onions going. Let's get the butter. Yeah, little silver fire scout definitely uh oh wish we had smell -o vision on YouTube that freaking smells wonderful I think it's in full gasification mode Working fantastically. Just gonna load it up one more time. Once you get it really rolling, you get the heat going on this particular stove, you really got no issues. Now I've have used an, um, skillets up to, I want to say 16 inches, cast iron skillets, and they're heavier, of course, with this stove, and it did fantastic with that as well. <laughs> What's nice is all that heat is being right towards the bottom. Of course, you got some flames licking up, but the major amount of heat 
is coming in right at the center and that's where you want on a cast iron skillet or pretty much any skillet you want that heat to be centered just like you did and that's where beneficial to a especially a gasifying stove in my opinion comes in to play I'm gonna be probably getting a firebox in the near future here and we'll do a little test on uh, how fast can boil water and all that fun stuff you know they both have their place especially when it comes to uh, compactness the firebox is going to win out um, unless you bring in something like this or the MSR or something like that if you're having this with you anyways you might as well you know you could fill that up unless you're putting something else in there so it all depends on how you pack and your preference it's probably burnt easily twice as three times four times faster than that initial fill that I had but when you're refilling it and I didn't process down those other pieces of that ash here as good so I had to kind of use these oh man these flat bottoms do work much much better I typically will pour my water in I won't use a Stanley, a uh, small Stanley. Now the larger Stanley works just as good as this cast iron pan. There we have the deer sausage, bacon and potatoes. Got my coffee. I'm going to sit down here and finish the rest of my dinner. My so. Fire Scout, guys. Thanks so much for watching Peace One for Veterans Outdoors. I really appreciate when you like, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Come on out here checking out the video for the first time. It really helps me out a lot. Unless we know you like what I'm putting up here, and I'm not wasting all my time and all this video equipment for nothing. But again, thanks so much for watching, and I guess I only have one more thing to say. I always be prepared to live outdoors.